Welcome to We Buy the Motor Caravan and the motorhome that has got the office giddy with excitement. The Cathargo Chic E-Line i58 XL Liner Class. This is something special. This, if you were to buy it brand new, is around £200,000. Now, just look at how beautiful she sits on the road. That presence that she has is just unbelievable. This particular version that we've got is a 2016, which means that it on the road back then would have been around 110,000 pounds. For a 2016 version now, you're spending around 110,000 pounds. Let's have a look around this absolute beast. If you haven't seen one of these on the road before, it's not a surprise. They are as rare as rocking horse poo. But it comes in at 8.51 metres in length. Tag axle, five tonne in weight. So you do need your Cat C1. But that does come with just over a thousand kilograms of payload. With that huge payload, it does mean that this is the perfect Tora and the fact that it's double floored as well gives it that little bit of extra warmth, comfort, joy. Do you know what? I could wax lyrical about this. You've got the satellite dome, you've got that huge awning on the other side. But where it gets really special is on the inside. Let's have a look. The piece de resistance and the bit that everybody buys this motorhome for is the queen bed. This is an absolute beast and it's just got that nice almost homely comfort feel behind it. Now there's no storage under the steps as you get in but there's ample storage. I mean look at the size of these wardrobes. They are monstrous and even then you can still be putting your shoes and your bits and bobs all under here and at the sides as well so you've got absolutely everything you need does come with a tv and these curtains as well that will pull across just gives it that little bit of homeliness about it i personally like the headrest i think it looks really sleek and stylish but you're going to expect that from a cathargo you're going to expect this level of quality you're going to expect this level of luxury let me show you the rest. For someone that's only nine stone, this shower is the perfect size. Now, I'm not the smallest for chaps, but I'm certainly not the biggest. So is it a little bit claustrophobic? Only really when you open the shower door. It's still got the quality, it's still got the style. You've still got a massive cupboard here what I do like and if you ever you've watched any of my videos hello Shane's mom Shane's mom's the only one that watches them if ever you have watched any of my videos then you'll know I hate the sort of draw across rubbishy plasticky sort of reminds me of my grandma's kitchen things that separate it the fact that you've got a full door that goes into the main bathroom gives it a real premium bathroom bedroom feel and it separates you from the main living area. As always, it's safety first. Now, the fact that you've got a light on that step means that you, after a couple of bottles of Rioja, you're not gonna come tumbling down or skipping up into the bed. Now, I think I probably would after a couple of, that would not stop me at all. To be honest, I don't see the bed, never mind that light. But what an area the kitchen area is. Couple of bits that I really like. You'll hear a big clunk. And that is your drawers locking. So now, absolutely going nowhere. And this is what you pay for with Cathargo. This is absolutely huge amount of storage. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I've seen this amount of storage on a motorhome in a while. You've got your wine bottle holders there, got your spicy racks going on here. Now, 
Do I think they should be soft close? That is. That isn't. Little bits like that, being hyper hypercritical, I think could have been looked at. Huge amount of prep space. Huge amount of prep space. Done mainly because your sink has got the infills. And a three ring burner burns like a ring of fire. Now also, wouldn't be Cathargo without a drop down coffee machine. Now I do hope you like barbecuing because you've got no oven in this Cathargo. It is continental style. You do have your grill at the top. Round one. And you've also got a big fridge freezer. Now, again, when you move into the, if you're buying one of these new, yes, you spend in the price of a small house around 200,000 pounds. You will have the swingy both ways fridge because that is a little bit tight on your hands to get into that, but they weren't around when 2016. Cathargo always do things elegantly and just look at the dials up there. Now your control panel is actually hidden away under there but it's all done with a little bit of style, grace and charisma. And the front lounge is something to behold. So you are four berth, four belt. You've got a drop down bed above my head and two seat belts here, as well as obviously the driver and the passenger seat. Couple of bits to note. If you're wondering, well, I've only got one TV. There is your other TV there. Now that will flap back underneath to give it a nice feel there. Personally, I'm gonna go from a too good, too bad on this Cathargo. I think this table's too big. I think even though it can move in and around the way, unless you're playing poker or you're some kind of knight, that round table is just too big. I also think it's a little bit dark in here. The lighting's good and you've got nice LED lighting around the top and you've got little blue lights around the bottom. So you're not gonna stumble or fall anywhere, but it's got a bit of a Aspen cabin feel to it. And is that what people are looking for now? Are you driving out to Aspen in it? If you are, you're driving in your cabin. I am being hypercritical. It is a beautiful machine. For me, 110,000 pounds, you're not gonna get much more luxurious than this. But hey, that's my opinion. Tell me what you think. So there's lights underneath the drop down bed. If ever you're wondering where that light switch is, it is literally down by the passenger's feet. You've got a huge amount of space when you sit in here. It is the ultimate tourer. As you can see, big wide expanse. You've got good cupboard space all the way around. And it just feels like you're driving a bus. It feels like everyone will get out of your way. Your cab blinds are incredible. You've got the pull down blind at the front. Personally, being a little bit short, I can't, yeah, got it. So if it gets a bit sunny, that's going to be hard work. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Bring your sunglasses if you're as short as me. But what a machine. And as you pull away, it's just effortless. It pulls, it drives. I've still got my handbrake on. There we go. And it's just got that feel of luxury, charisma. And you like, you want to go on an adventure, really. But don't take my word for it. Give me your thoughts. If you've owned one, let me know what your experiences were. We'd love to hear your stories. My name's Pete. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do what you want. Put a couple of comments. We're going to take this for a spin around the block. See you later. Bye.